Now for this next part, we've got to calculate three significant figures, the product moment correlation coefficient between T and W. In other words, just as a quick reminder, when we're working out the product moment correlation coefficient, you'd have found that in the past you'd have most probably been dealing with Y against X. You'd have had a scatter diagram, a set of points, scattered about some line and the goodness of fit, the closest these are to this line is given by this value R, the product moment correlation coefficient. And R is a number that goes between minus one and one. When it's minus one you're on a perfect negative uh, slope here all the points would lie on that line. If it was one you'd have a line going that way all the points would be on it. Anyway, how do we calculate R? Well, in your formula books, you most probably got R equals SXY all divided by the square root of SXX multiplied by SYY. Now we have to change this because obviously we haven't got these variables Y and X. What we have got is T and instead of y we've got w. So this formula needs to be changed. For us r is going to equal s t w, x being the t and the y being the w, all divided by s t t multiplied by s w w and that is all square rooted there in the denominator. So we just need to put in our values for STW. STW we worked out in the previous part is minus 5.03. And then we've got to divide this then by STT. We worked that out in the previous part, 191.6. And that's multiplied by SWW. And they gave that as a summary statistic at the beginning. 0 0.16 and don't forget we've got a square root all of this in the denominator. So if you work that out as I say expect to get a number between minus 1 and 1 otherwise or an inclusive you can get it inclusive otherwise expect to have an error. But if you work this out you find you get minus 0 0.90846 and so on. And we're told to give our answer to three significant figures. So it's going to be equal to minus 0 0.908 to 3SF. Okay? And it's a value which is, as we can see, negative, fairly close to minus 1. So we could expect our points to lie very close to a line going downwards. That's what you would most probably expect when you think about it because. The age of a coin, as it increases, you can expect the weight to decrease. As it gets older, more of the surface, I'm sure, is going to be rubbed off. Okay? And there'll be chips in the coin as well. Okay, so uh, there you go. There's the correlation uh, product moment correlation coefficient. So I uh, hope that's given you some idea and a little bit of background here as well. Okay?